sports. For those of you who don't know and aren't the biggest sports fans, a lot of sports, such as the MLB, NFL, and NHL across the world were canceled due to COVID-19, but specifically the NBA was suspended on March 11, 2020 because Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz tested positive for COVID during the 2019-2020 season during an interview and the whole league was shut down. Now the NBA lost $679 million in revenue from the 258 regular season games that were canceled due to the pandemic induced shutdown in March. Hello, my name is Brianna Mizinski, and today we will be analyzing the research question in the last decade, how has unemployment rates due to COVID-19 impacted people's economic decisions in the US? Now we will be analyzing that through three different aspects, effects COVID-19 had on education, job workers, mental health, and then my conclusion. Effects COVID-19 had on education economically and physically. Now, what was the main hardship with education during COVID? The main hardship was that more than 200 million students in low income and middle income economies have not had access to online or remote learning opportunities during the pandemic. Now, this infographic here shows how online and remote learning during different grade levels, how high they were and how the lack of, how the lack of students didn't have the available education in online and remote learning systems. Money lost in schools. Due to the pandemic, it caused millions of students to lack the ability to go to school. The total cost allocates to $360 billion of dollars lost in schools because of the pandemic. Now here it shows in the Seattle School District how 17 weeks of learning in math was lost, 10 weeks of learning in reading was lost due to the pandemic, and how $76 million for tutoring in math was lost, and $29 million for tutoring in reading. Now if we wanted to pay these back, we would have had to um, dabble into the federal relief funds and allocate $93 million to pay back those tuition for the tutoring for math and for reading. Job workers, many issues occurred. Now, by the end of the year, total working hour losses were roughly four times greater than during the Great Recession in 2009. These dramatic reductions in working hours have been accompanied by equally reductions in income. Now here it shows that 68% had no income due to the COVID pandemic, and now 89% of people were looking for a new source of income because they were unemployed. Now, it, here it shows how 52% of people lost their jobs, 26% had their hours decreased, meaning their, their income has also decreased. This infographic here shows that 53.7 million jobs were vulnerable during the pandemic, and these jobs pay less than $40,000. Now, according to Ward, the, how, the average family spends about $5,000 a month. Now, if we multiply that by 12, that's $60,000. You only make $40,000 a year because of, the, because of the pandemic. Now, you would be in $20,000 in debt or broke because you don't make enough to support your family. Mental health effects from COVID. Now here, this quote states that the Haitian earthquake was composed of loss of trauma after it occurred and poverty due to homes being destroyed. Here in this diagram here, it shows the impacts on mental health that COVID had, which was loneliness, helplessness, depression, anxiety, pandemic, and post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. And the potential strategies are physical exercise, family companionship, psychological counseling, positive and optimistic attitude, and physical subsides. Conclusion. In conclusion, a lot of people have suffered from significant impacts from the virus, such as increased medical bills, severe mental health issues, students suffering from not being able to attend schools, and job workers being affected. But regardless, everyone deserves a chance to have a well-paying job to support their families and be able to have the basic necessities daily. This is my Works Cited page. Thanks, any questions? All right, two questions for you. First one. Just stay right here, right? What information did you need that you uh, weren't able to find? Um, I would say information that I needed that I wasn't able to find. I could have um, dived into more of the medical bills and how it affected the um, COVID-19 patients, but I wasn't able to find much data or much um, diagrams on that. Okay, and um, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct on this? 
Um, the additional research I would have conducted, I probably would have added um, more talking about like how it affected prison workers because I did originally have that um, perspective in here, but I didn't include it because there was not much information on it that I could find.